What's up guys? Welcome back to Peanuts World. If you guys didn't already see this video, I already uploaded it and now I have to refilm. These are some ways to keep your hamster cool in the summer. So, technically I already filmed this video and when I uploaded it, it had frozen, but the time that I uploaded it, I had already deleted the video on my camera, so I'm really... Ugh, that took me a long time to film that video too, and I was so focused on that. So, sorry if I'm wearing the same outfit in three videos instead of two, since I filmed this all the same day. Alright, I'm gonna take you guys with me, because... Yeah, why not? Oh, sorry, shaky. Oh my gosh, this is shaky, I can't, like... Oh, no, my finger. Okay, anyhow, trying to make this the least amount of shakiness is um oh no it's possible okay hold on next clip will show me getting this stuff all right so pretty much i'm back and i've gathered a wild peanut which i'm gonna set him down right there so sorry this stuff looks a little used it has been in peanut's cage for a couple days you know almost a week oh honey there's nothing in that he's trying to find his puzzle toy from the last video i filmed it's still here. Um, <laughs> I'm gathered wild peanut. Technically, I don't know if I've already said it, today's video is going to be on how to keep your hamster cool, which I think I did say it. And the first item is simple. A water bowl or water bottle with constantly fresh, cold, filtered water. That will help your, keep your hamster cool. Um, you can shove in <laughs> many ice chunks into your water bottle, just make sure they do not come out. And that will help your hamster keep cool. Peanut is very tired right now, so. The second thing is, this video is going to be a lot shorter because everything's already set up. Set up. Is a hamster sand bath. Now, this is quite large. It is bigger than my face, and I don't think you guys got to see that the last time I uploaded it. Even if you did see that. Peanut really enjoys having a large sand bath because... First of all, he has one spot to pee. I know that's kind of gross, but he uses his sand bath as a potty, so he pees in one corner, and I put in a brandy bridge, and then he sleeps sometime in a different corner, which I do clean out the soiled spots every single day, as you should too, <laughs> if your hamster decides that your bathing bath is nice to use a bathroom in. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of move that to on the side because Peanut's in it and I think he's like really enjoying himself right now. So that's another thing. Oh, never mind. I guess he's not because he wants out. He usually has a climbing toy to get him out. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? I'm missing something. I know I am. I'm not done yet. Another thing is... I don't know if you guys could see this. Oh, Peanut chipped it. It is a floor tile purchased from Home Depot. It was only like 46 cents. Okay, you want to go in there? Okay. It was only 46 cents. And the reason why you use these is because when it's hot days, your hamster might enjoy just kind of like laying on this. I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's some dirt on it. So while I talk, I'm just going to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> so when it's hotter days, your hamster might be like really hot and they don't want to sleep in your bedding. That's what I was missing. Sleep in their bedding. Okay, fun, fun. Hamster's jumping. Not fun. You can't do that. Okay, your hamster might not want to sleep in the bedding because that might be really warm for your hamster. So they might want to just sleep out in the open on the floor tile or sometimes... I put a hideaway over a floor tile because usually I never see peanut sleeping out in the open because I don't think he likes to do that. I don't know if you can hear him digging over there. Silly. I don't think peanut really likes sleeping out in the open, but I left one in his cage out in the open and I put one um, under a hideaway. And so far, I haven't really seen him use these yet. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Um, he doesn't really use these quite yet, but since I filmed this video, that was really only the hotter days so far, and yes guys, it's almost June, and it's still not really hot where I am, yeah, 
but these are really good for hotter weathers. Oh, you can see my beautiful light right there. Oh, right there. Okay. These are really nice in the hotter weathers, and I've seen a lot of pet YouTubers to put something like a more like a piece of strip of granite or something, and their hamsters use that too. But they also say these work, which they do, because right now this has been his cage, and it's actually very cold. So, yeah. He's bathing right now. He loves, like, um, for his sand bath, he loves, like, digging it and rubbing his belly on it. It's really cute. I don't think he's going to rub his belly on it. Right now he's just digging because he's tired. He wants to go back to sleep. Or no, wait, yes he is. Okay, anyhow, I'm just going to clean this off. So these are really nice. Um, you can always put a hideaway over it or, I mean, I guess if you want, you could put a little bedding in it so they can make a burrow in there and they um, can sleep on the cold tile and have some bedding around them. But uh, I leave one out in the open. Bedding is not in either one of my tiles because they're both in the cage. One is out open and one, as I said, has a hideaway on it. And I'm actually going to put him back because he's being very anxious and I'll show you the hideaway. The one that has the hideaway on, so I'm just going to call it this one, is this. And I set on it perfectly like that for your peanut to enjoy. And he's very upset right now because his stuff is not in his cage. I'm like very upset. But this is a mini bridge I have on there. Another thing is to keep your hands cool, I gotta put this back on so he doesn't escape, even though he can't, but maybe he could climb on top of his wheel. Is um just giving your hamster cold vegetables. Cold vegetables will help keep your hamster cool as well as the cold water. That's about it. I mean I think Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I gotta get it. I can't reach. Sorry. It's on the case up behind me. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds about right. Anyhow, if you don't want to know what I'm holding, I'm going to say it like I did in the last video. This is a thermometer. I don't know why I say it like that because I'm weird, but it's a thermometer, guys. Um, and this one, sorry. I can't speak. Um, and this one, you can tell. Okay, technically, where I'm from, we do Fahrenheit, but I will ask my Amazon Alexa for for um Celsius. Sorry, went off. So technically, you can't get above 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're gonna want starting to like turn the air on or like put turn your fans on and stuff like that. But let's see what 77 degrees is in there. I mean, 77 degrees in Fahrenheit is in Celsius. So let's see. Alexa. Sorry, I'm turning the volume up. What's 77 degrees? There is no active call. I didn't say that. <laughs> Alexa. What's 77 degrees Fahrenheit in, 20, in Celsius? 7,020 degrees Fahrenheit is 3,882.2 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Dang. Okay, hold on. That's not what I said, so don't pay attention to that. Alexa, what's 77 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 77 degrees go. Fahrenheit is 25 degrees Celsius. So if you didn't hear that, it's 25 degrees Celsius, and that is what you can't get over for the people who use Celsius. So that kind of closes out this video. There's a piece of tape still on this, too. And... Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.